$36,000 made in the market today. It was by no means the easiest of the 36. Uh, the trader saw me uh, get out of a nice pickle. Uh, how do we maneuver out of difficult trades? How do we uh, reassess the market to come out profitable? 36 k in the bank. Would you like to see how we did it and how we do this every single day? Then stick around. I'll leave you with one lesson learned. Watch the entire video. I'll try to get it done in less than 10 minutes. Are you ready? 36 k in the bank, baby. Let's get it. Right, so as stated 36k made in the market today three trades crushed it and uh we had to work through a little bit of a pickle so i'm going to talk to you as we review the trades we're going to train you on what do you do when a trade goes against you how do you know when to get out when to hold at what threshold uh what what should you be thinking about we're going to go over that now all right so let's do this first let's go into the discord and let's verify the call outs and the trades so you can keep me on point and then we can see uh what happened today all right so here we are in the discord all right and right uh we went live at nine o'clock we had our trade thesis and i had already traded the futures here there's a key area there and this this plays this is very important this is very important because this plays into my opening thesis on why I believed and took the trade. So I'm going to go over the timestamps now and then I'll get to the chart. So 930, I'm in calls, right? And I'm looking for the move above 4366. I give that as my risk to reward. The traders in the Discord, they know what that means. I'm also on the live voice so you can see and see the trades, all that cool stuff, right? The trade goes against me. I'm letting them know I am still in my trade and I'm talking them through why what i'm looking at and i'm assessing right as we get down to 943 i have my existing trade but then i grab a separate trade on some zeros to scalp see it there scalping the calls here second position no averaging i do not average down what am i looking at buy volume the vvp indicator and the volume profile both by the wealth wells link in description that's what i live and die by all right after that I take a third position, same trade, same trade, just seven minutes later, off the buy volume, once we hit it again, I grab it again, third position, no averaging down. These two trades, second and third, are zeros, all right? This is a hedging strategy or a risk management strategy, sorry, risk management strategy that I use, this is no secret, all right? We get the break, I trail, I lock in profit here, which means I move my stop in a way area where I cannot lose, second trade, third trade, locking in profit, Original trade is in profit at 10 o'clock. You can see it there. <laughs> Folks are saying, go, never doubted you. The purpose of this, me going over this now, let me be clear. This is for the killer wells. This is not to show you, oh yeah, I'm right. I can be wrong. That's no problem. Nobody cares. What, what you care about is proper trade management, risk management, and execution. That is the, being, being profitable in the market is the byproduct of proper trade execution. All right. So I'm simply walking the discord through. Other folks are, you know, happy about that. They're giving me the kudos. That's fine. Walking you through. And we did a discussion here. So this is what they're responding to. I, I, I helped them with uh, hedging. I helped them with volume shifts and things like that so they can understand uh, what's happening. We're still in our trades, still in our trades, still in our trades, still in our trades. I take the bulk off right here at 938. I still have runners in place and the rest go to the bank. Then I say there's a possibility we could come back to this area at some point. Just a thought. We'll see. All right. Other folks took it to the bank as well. Uh, you know, and, and, they, and they, and they make money. All right. So let's recap these trades here. Okay. And let's see where, uh, where, where, where the day ended up. All right. So let's jump over to ES right now so that we can see what I'm looking at here, uh, right off the bat. All right. So this is very, very, very key, very key. All right. Now, if we, if we come back over here and we take a look at, uh, just before the market open, just before the market open right there. I, 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 I'm already trading. I tell the Discord, hey guys, listen, I'm long ES above 4383. 
It's going to be a one point move, couple ticks, nothing big. 4383 right there. This is the move, right? I get a clear indication that, you know, something is 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 going to pop here based on uh, what I know in the market based on volume, volatility, price action. So I'm good for this move here. I expected a touch of 4385 before rejection. These are my levels. These are my areas that I'm watching. There's some other markers on the screen. I expected a touch here. Now, this is very, very key. I live and die by my system. I live and die by my levels, period. I live and die by volume, period. All right. So I expected a longer move here, 4383, maybe a five, two points, only got a point here. So the expectation is that we touch this area. Why? Because I'm looking at liquidity around this area and clearly there is liquidity around this area. You can clearly see it here at 10 o'clock. The difference is we don't get the continuation move there. Okay. We get a, 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 a we get a little chippy action there of one point. So it's key to know that I'm already trading the futures. I'm already cooking here and I'm like, all right, this is where we're going. Okay. All right. So with that being said, uh, the first trade uh, happens at 930, right? And right away, 930, I'm in calls. So let's go over to SPX and break this down so you can understand well, what I'm looking at, why I'm in the calls, right? And kind of what's happening here, okay? All right, here we are. So on SPX, I'm chipping through an area of interest. Num that's number one. That's number one, okay? Now, oftentimes at the open, right here, folks, you're going to get a trap in some cases, right? Now you should expect some shifts in liquidity and buy volume, etc. There was sell pressure up here. However, go back to the futures. We clearly had a move that we could have gotten some continuation and come up in here. So all I'm looking for is the scalp, the move to the upside, right? Um, it's, it's, it's a pretty standard and straightforward move. You can clearly see in calls, quick scalp, pretty standard move. Instead, I get a wallop. I mean, a complete reversal, Boom to the downside. Now on the five minute, here's the key. It's only a two candle break. So this is this is not as bad as it looks. However, this is about a 20%, 18, 20% drawdown for me. Now I, I can withstand 15. That is my absolute max threshold. However, when I see volume shift, I will hold the trade. Now, this is not a hold just to hold. We're, we're holding the trade for a reason, right? Because I believe in this trade. I know it will come back around. There is no reason for me to exit, pay commissions. I know we're coming back. And I know we're coming back in the morning session based on something I saw. Now, let's go back over as I walk you through the trade so you can see, right? Keep me honest here. You can see, all right. So I'm still in my trade, right? Somebody's asking me questions. I don't know why. As soon as I get into a trade, I don't know why. But, you know, people do that. I don't respond at all. I don't respond to this stuff. Okay. All right. So as soon as uh, my trade goes, you know, reverses here, I let you know, all right, this is what I'm looking at, folks. I told the, the, the Discord, I'm looking at buy volume down at four, three, uh, let's see, four, three, five, eight. I'm looking at buy volume there. So let's go over to the VVP indicating the volume profile by the Wealth Wells. There's the buy volume. It's still there. Now, it was a little more. Uh, closer to the to the area here, a little more exaggerated. I mean, that's a lot of volume. That's a lot of volume right there. So with that on your screen there, folks, you should know, all right, we come down into this area. Yes, there's sell volume here, but I understand that if we hit this volume here at the POC, at the very least, we've got to come back for a pop here. And if we blow through this, this, this uh, sell volume right here, well, then guess what? This will dissipate and we will continue to move. This will turn into a massive cover coming off of Monday's run up. That's all this is, is a retracement and a run up. So um, this says, all right, I've got to, I've got to hold this trade. So now what do you do? All right, let's get to the training here. All right. And then I'll show you all the profits, all that cool stuff that you want to see. See, yes, $36,000 made. I uh, didn't expect to make that this morning. Uh, bulk of that is made from zeros. Let's be clear. This this trade right here, I only this thing only paid me less than 40%, about 35%. But the other two paid me over 100%, one nearly 200%. How? All right. The first thing I think to myself, all right, is where are we going? No matter if I'm going up or down, where am I going? I know I've got a trade in this big old fat area of interest. Look, I've got them here. This stuff has been on the screen. It's, it's, it's public. So I've got to at least come to the top of here. That's where volume is going to carry me. All right. The question is when. All right. Now we move from where to when. When are we going to get there? I believe I'm going to get here based on a shift in volume if we hold here by the end of the morning session. That means that I can trade zeros. I can make my money back. Now, let's say I, I take a loss here. 
I can scout my way out just with three day three DTEs. I can uh, scout my way out with the futures, or I can use my typical method uh, when I just switch to, to zeros in the next couple trades. All right. So in this example here, when I get a trade right here that goes against me, there are three things. Here's the lesson that I do. Three things. All right. And those in the Discord heard me. I'm focused. I'm dialed in. Three things. All right. I reassess. I review. And then I look to re-enter. I don't panic. I don't immediately cut the trade unless I feel like it is going to go. I, I don't worry. I just reassess. I review. And then I look for a better entry. And that's all we did. All right. So let's take a look at the trades so you can understand how it was able to come out of the day with such a big bank. All right. So here is the Katie's Trades channel. Here we are right there. Average trade, 109%. That ain't bad. That ain't bad for today. That ain't bad. All right. 36 grand. Had you just taken one trade, you would have made 3,600 bucks just on the morning session. All right. So at the 1043 to 1030 run up, that's 120%. Uh, banger, banger. And then the 950 to the 1053 move, right? Another 173%. So as I said, once the trade retraces here, I'm looking at the volume. We would have to break past this area. I would be okay to accept a 20% loss. That's just me. You can accept whatever threshold you have. 15 typically is my max. However, as I know that we have buy volume here, when you get out of a trade, when you try to manage a failing trade, you want to, there, there's a couple things traders will do. They'll jump out immediately, right? You don't want to jump out when you get a big wallop like this. You need to allow the trade to breathe unless this thing is just running away from you. That's true. But at the very least, try to get a better exit for for a reasonable loss, right? So you can get an exit here. You can get an exit here. You can get an exit here. You can get an exit anywhere in this area before this thing really just starts to move on you so that you can, you know, maintain your current position and not take such a hard loss. So here's what I did. Held my position, didn't touch it. And at 943, uh, right around here, I took some calls. This little move right there, boom so that I can go ahead and get some green action going. Then at 9.50, right here, boom, I took the main position, uh, the third position, and let them all ride with an exit of about at about uh, 11 o'clock or 10.53 for one and uh, 10.30 for the other. So all in all, came out of the market with a whopping 36K today. That's the lesson for you. What do you do when a trade goes against you? Maybe when you're shell-shocked, don't get frozen. Think reassess, re-enter, or rather reassess, review, re-enter. Look for a better position, understand where we're going, use your targets, use your levels, read the volume, and then overlay that with the VVP indicator, which is the link is in description, and you've got gold. KD for the Wealth Wells, signing out.